why do some diamonds sparkle more than others? Your ring's gotta be clean, first of all. Your stone has to be clean. If it's not clean, it won't shine, okay? So cosmetics, hairspray, this stuff will adhere to the outside of the stone. It will definitely uh, affect what's going on with the way light bounces around. Now, light comes in through the top of the stone, bounces around, and then comes back out. That's when we talk about the cut, all right? Not the shape, but the cut. So sometime if a stone is too shallow, if a stone is too tall, that'll affect it. So now what we're doing is this. We're getting all these, you know, natural diamonds have to find, they will find their gaps in the market that they can fill and compete and win over the lab diamonds. Lab diamonds have pretty much won when it comes to high end, high color, high clarity, large size. Lab diamonds own that segment. I'm not breaking news, I don't think here, but there's gonna be a big push this fall for desert color stones that are natural. Heard it here first, okay? So those are gonna be natural. They're already available. They're already in the wholesaler's inventory. They don't have to be created or made or whatever. And traditionally, you know, this range wasn't terribly desirable, but they're gonna do something cool with them. And it's gonna be a really fun thing for Christmas this year. So here we find there will be gaps in places where, and this is where like the salt and pepper diamonds come into play too, where it just doesn't make sense to make that in a lab, harder to create that in a lab. This is where the imperfection of the stone becomes part of that stone's beauty. Well, now to answer your original question, so I've been talking for eight minutes and I haven't even answered you. So stones that are down here, I1, I2, not necessarily I3. I1 is, and so many inclusions, it affects either the beauty or durability. I2, it affects both the beauty and durability. So these are cheap, they're not pretty. So what's happening is it now makes sense for somebody to take that material, I1, I2, and have it recut so it is a fireball. So from here to here, it kills, stunning. You get it under magnification and it looks like a crime scene, okay? But this is how naturals can be relevant and be competitive relative to a lab room. I know I've talked a lot, I kind of threw a bunch of things out here and maybe through the magic of editing, it won't be so bad.